Hi, this is your math coach, Howie Tutman, presenting What Math Should My First Grader Know? I've recorded videos in the four domains or groupings of standards in math for first grade. This video is the first of 10 videos in the Operations and Algebraic Thinking grouping. The video is about solving addition word problems and determining the unknown number in an equation. This is the first of a two-part video. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at hrtutman at gmail.com. The complete text of the two standards that this video is based upon follows at the end of the video. The next standard continues working with addition and subtraction equations. In this standard, the first graders will need to find the unknown number in an addition or subtraction equation so that the equation is true. These equations will have two given numbers and the first grader has to find the third number. Now in older grades, students will use letters to represent this unknown number, but in first grade, students can use a box or a question mark or a picture like a star or a heart to represent the unknown number. So let's take a look at some examples here of what the first graders would be expected to be able to solve. The first equation that I have here is probably one of the more common type of equations that the first grader is used to seeing. And this one here has the four plus five on the left side of the equation, and the unknown is on the right side of the equation. So four plus five is equal to some unknown quantity. And as we discussed in the previous video, what we're looking for is for the students to understand that the value or the amount, the total value, total amount on the left side is equal to that amount or value on the right side. So for the students who have mastered some of the uh, strategies that we had talked about in earlier videos, for instance, four plus five, they may recognize uh, that that is a doubles plus one. So they immediately might be thinking of four plus four equals eight, plus one more equals nine, and they'll have their answer. And we also want students to see the equation this way here, where the unknown would be on the left side of the equation, and the two add-ins, the two numbers that the students will be adding together is on the right side, and the students would be doing the exact same thing that they did in this equation on the left. Now, for those students who may not recognize the doubles plus one strategy and still may be relying on the counting on strategy, four, and they would have to count on five, uh, at least we'd want to try to encourage them to start with the larger add-in. So to start with five and then count on four. So if we start at five and they're going to have to count on four, right? They're going to count on four. So they're looking at starting at five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if they need to, they would be doing the exact same thing with this problem here on the right-hand side. As students gain more confidence with their addition strategies, hopefully they can recognize four plus five using their doubles plus one, and then it may just become automatic after that, and then it becomes much more efficient for them to solve the problem. In between showing some of the addition equations in this video, I'll show and describe some of the types of situations that these equations can represent. The word problems that I'll show are representative of these situations and the equations can be used to solve the word problems. So let's take a look at this equation. Four plus five is equal to some unknown. One could have an add to type word problem. So an add to situation would be some type of an action problem. So there would be some start, then a change, 
and then a result. And the result would be from the action that increased the original start. So for instance, in this problem, four bunnies sat on the grass. That's our start. Five more bunnies hopped there. That's our change. And then the result would be four plus five. So right now our result is unknown, but when we add the four plus five together, we would get our nine. How many bunnies are on the grass now? That would be the result. There also could be the situation that would be a put together type problem. So you could have a word problem. Four brown bunnies are on the grass and five white bunnies are on the grass. How many bunnies are on the grass? So this would be like a part, part, whole problem. We'd be putting together the two parts. There's no real action going on here. We have two different categories of objects that we're putting together. And when we put them together, we would be getting the total. So four plus five, right now the total is unknown, but when we add them up, four plus five, our total would be nine. So let's move on and look at a couple of other types of equations that the students may see. In these equations, we have the unknown coming first. So it's some unknown plus five is equal to nine, or it may be in this form, nine is equal to some unknown value plus five. In either case, hopefully the students may recognize their fact family. And if they knew that four plus five is equal to nine, they may be able to recognize that something plus five equals nine. What is that something? Well, that something would be four. And they may be recognizing this either from knowing their doubles plus one strategy, or they may be knowing it from knowing that they would be subtracting five from nine to get four. So they are looking to be solving this to make this a true equation that the answer would be four. Now, once again, for the students that may not be as comfortable with some of these strategies that we're talking about, they may need to be counting up. So they would be starting at five and they need to count up to nine so that the value on this side is equal to nine. So once again, in counting up, they may be starting at five. They would go six, seven, eight, nine. So they've counted up from five. How many have they counted up? They've counted up one, two, three, four. So it's not as efficient to come to the answer of four, but for starters, this would work for them, and they do have their answer of four. So for that equation, something plus five is equal to nine. On this page, there are a couple of different types of situations that could be represented by this type of equation. And below each situation type, there's a word problem to fit that situation. So let's take a look. We have something plus five is equal to nine. So one of the situations would be start unknown. We don't know what this amount is. There's going to be some type of change, and then there's going to be a result. So start, change, result. So when looking at the word problem, some bunnies were sitting on the grass. That's the question mark. Five more bunnies up there. That's the action or the change. So plus five. And then we have the result here. Then there were nine bunnies. And what this word problem is asking is how many bunnies were on the grass before? So we need to be figuring out what the start is. So this is one type of situation adding to a start unknown and solving for that unknown start amount. The other type of situation that this equation could be representing is just putting together and one of the add-ins is unknown. So it's a part, part, 
total type of problem. We don't know this add end. We want to be putting it together with this other add end, and these two parts would represent our total. So a word problem that this equation could be representing might be some brown bunnies are on the grass, so that's one part, one category. And also there were five white bunnies on the grass. So those are our two parts. The brown bunnies, we don't know the amount. The white bunnies, we do know the amount. And there are nine bunnies in all on the grass. So the total, we do know. And the question is, how many are brown bunnies? So we are looking for this add end. Right now, this add end is unknown. And that's the question mark. And when we solve that, we are finding the unknown add end. In these last two examples here, same fact family, student may recognize five is the missing number in the fact family here. Or once again, be subtracting this four from the nine to get five. And for those students who may not be recognizing the fact family and may need to be counting up, they might have to start with the four and they're going to count up. So once again, starting at four and, and make sure that they're starting at four so that the next number is five. We don't want them to start placing a dot or using their fingers or using counters and be saying four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We want to make sure that they're starting with the next number after four. So it's going to be five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those students have counted up from four. And how many have they counted up? They've counted up one, two, three, four, five. So they have their answer of five. So for equations involving addition with unknown, these equations, these type of equations here, would be the types that first graders would need to be solving. So for that equation, four plus some unknown is equal to nine. This page has three different types of possible situations that could be represented by this type of equation. And once again, I'll use this equation to represent the bunnies in each of the word problems. So the first type of situation can be an add to, and the change is unknown. So four bunnies were sitting on the grass. That's our start. Some more bunnies hop there. That's our change. And it's going to be a change to a greater amount because we're adding something to this start. So start, change. Then there were nine bunnies, and that's our result. The question is how many bunnies hopped over to the first four bunnies. So we are looking for that change. So this is an action type problem, and it's an add to with change unknown. The second type of situation is one that we saw in the last equation. It's pretty much the exact same thing, except in this equation, we do know the first add end, and it's the second add end that's unknown. There are four white bunnies on the grass. There are some brown bunnies on the grass. So those are our two parts. And then our total is there are nine bunnies in all on the grass. How many are brown bunnies? We're looking to find that other add-in, which is unknown. And then for the third type of situation, this equation could be represented by a compare type problem where the difference is unknown. Now, this word problem could also be represented by a subtraction problem. And in the next video, we'll be talking about subtraction equations. So some students may represent this word problem by subtraction, but others may set it up as four plus some unknown is equal to nine, and they're going to be trying to find that difference. 
In this case here, though, how many more need to be added to the 4 to be equal to 9? So it could also be a situation, like I say, where it's a comparison problem and we're looking for the difference. Before I mention one other possible situation that we can represent in a different type of equation, I just wanted to reassure you that some of the equations that we've looked at for addition and that we will look at for subtraction in the next video are more difficult than others. Throughout first grade and then second grade, the students will continue to gain knowledge to be able to solve all of these types of problems. At first, some don't make as much sense as others, but students will be practicing these types of problems next year in second grade also. And as far as strategies for solving these problems, the first graders are transitioning from counting that they did in kindergarten to beginning to learn a lot of different types of strategies. So by second grade, they will hopefully feel comfortable solving problems, relying on their strategies and not on their counting. So this one last type of situation that I wanted to share with you is a put together problem where both add ends are unknown. So a type of word problem may be, and once again, using our bunnies, there were seven white and brown bunnies sitting on the lawn. How many could be brown and how many could be white? So in this type of problem, there are two add ends, both are unknown, and we know that the total is seven. Now, some of the students may be able to just rattle off um, and know the different combinations to make seven. And other students may need some sort of a manipulative to figure this out by putting one tile down, this yellow tile, to represent one white bunny, and then putting down additional tiles, putting down the red tiles to represent the brown bunnies until they got to a total of seven in all. And they'd see they'd have one white bunny represented by the yellow tile and six red tiles to represent the six brown bunnies. And then they can continue on by adding one more yellow and one less red. And this actually will help them to be organized to get all of the different combinations to make seven. And then what students can do is they can be listing them. One plus six equals seven, two plus five equals seven, three plus four equals seven, and so on all the way down until they have all of the different combinations. And problems like this are really good for students to be practicing all of the different combinations to total a particular number. So that's it for some uh, addition type problems and the next video will be concentrating on subtraction problems. If you're interested, here are the complete two standards that this video, solving addition word problems and determining the unknown number in an equation, is based upon. Use addition and subtraction within 20 to solve word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart, and comparing with unknowns in all positions. For example, by using objects, drawings, and equations with a symbol for the unknown number to represent the problem. Determine the unknown number in an addition or subtraction equation relating three whole numbers. For example, determine the unknown number that makes the equation true in each of the equations. 8 plus question mark is equal to 11. 5 is equal to question mark minus 3. 6 plus 6 is equal to question mark.